Today we'll be unboxing the Nova Solar BP1800 3 kilowatt portable lithium trolley. It's got a built in 3 kilowatt PS sine wave inverter, 2.56 kilowatt hour life per 4 lithium battery. As you can see, it's been shipped in a wooden crate. Actually, first time I see that's done in a wooden crate, so the protection for the safekeeping on the inverter is, seems quite good or adequate. We struggled a few minutes just to get the lid off, um, so we've removed it already. I'm going to show you what the inverter looks like. I'm just going to open up the wooden crate. It's nicely secure package with um, package foam. It's also got, its, as you can see, a cable that you plug in, so it plugs directly into your wall plug. No need to connect it up to your DB. You can just plug into your wall. It sits like a UPS between your, your components that you want to power and the wall and the wall plug. It's also got it's strong enough for you to load up your fridge, your TV, some of your lights, up to about 3,000 watts in total. Just a reminder: if you put on, if you put a full load of 3,000 watts on it, the battery is only going to last you about 50 minutes because the battery capacity is only 2.5 kilowatt. So you need to remember that you need to look at the availability of your battery. So on a 2.56 kilowatt hour battery that can be discharged to 80%. You've got around 2,000 watts that you can use during load shedding. That means if you want to have a full load cover of about two hours, you can put a 1,000 watt load on it to, to get you through a two hour load shedding. We've been removing it out of the box and short, shortly we'll show you what the inverter looks like. So we've just taken the inverter out of the box. As you can see the trolley, it's got its casters at the bottom. On the side over here, we go around to the side. You will see it gives you input rating, output rating, your voltages, as all indicated on the side. So you can see at what your AC charge current maximum is 17.7 amp. You've got your solar input rating there. On the side of here, you've got your battery breaker. So we're now to switch on the unit. We've turned up the, the AC break, the battery breaker. It's, sorry, it's a DC breaker. I'm going to move around to the other side. On the left hand side, we will see the input of it. We will show you the front panel just now. Over there you can see there's your AC input. And over here is your input for your solar panels. It can take up to 1,800 watts solar panels. So probably for 400 watts you can easily connect 1,600 watts worth of solar panels to it. So we've already switched on the DC breaker. To switch on the unit on top, you'll see on the display will power up. The fans will spin up. Uh, just for the unit to, to get activated, it will take a few seconds for it to come on. Once the unit is powered up, it will show you your output voltage. It will also indicate to you the, the load that you've got. So, what we can show you currently is if we move closer to the display, so you can see it's giving us a 229 volt output. And currently, you see there's no AC connected to it. So, on the right hand side, where it says zero. It will show that voltage is not coming in. It's currently cycling through the displays just to show you that your input frequency or the output frequency currently is at 50 hertz. There's no solar panels connected, so PV shows currently at zero volt. Um, the 21.6 volt there that you can see is probably DC rating, and there you can see your voltage of the battery is 26.5 volts. At the, the output of it, 230 volt currently. In South Africa, all our current IC current is 230 volt. At the bottom you can see there currently that the battery is um, going through the inverter from 25.6 volt up to 220 volt, giving an output to your load which is on, indicated on that side. As you can hear the fans has also stopped now, the unit is fully working now. While it's discharging like this, the fans won't make a noise unless you put some load onto it and the inverter gets a bit warm, the fans will spin up, will spin up to cool it down. On the battery side, the 2.56 kilowatt battery, you'll be able to use about 2,048 volts on it. Oh, sorry, watts on it. Um, so if you've got a load of 500 watts on it, you'll probably be able to go through a four-hour load setting with this inverter. Like I said pre previously, it's got a three kilowatt pure sine wave inverter bolt into it, so you can actually load quite a bit of. Um, items onto it. You can easly put up a, a double door fridge which pulls about 300 watts. 
from the inverter. You can connect a TV between, depends on 32 inch up to 85 inch, maybe a 80 watts on the smaller TVs to about 150 watts on the bigger TVs. You can connect your DSTV decoder, decoder to it. You can connect your uh, Wi-Fi router to it, your um, fiber ONT. It's also got direct DC outputs on the front. So on the front over here, you can always connect your router directly to this, which is DC 12 volts. You don't need to go to, through your um, router charger. You can also connect your phone to charge your phone directly to it. It's got two 5 volt USB ports. And yes, in short, that's basically the Nova Solar 3 kilowatt lithium trolley that's now available in South Africa. We can design it around between, depends on which places, uh, between 26 and a half to, to 30,000 rand. And I think it's every bit of money worth, at least this unit will carry you through load settings.